Thank you so much. Here with our NBA insider Ian Begley after the Knicks beat the Heat 125 to 109. But we got to talk about the injury to Julius Randle that ended the game pretty much uh, in late in the fourth quarter. What exactly happened? I know he landed on his right shoulder. He landed on his shoulder and he suffered a dislocation to that shoulder. He is heading for an MRI after the game here to the hospital. The x-rays here at the arena showed that there was a dislocation, not a separation. So that's a bit of positive news, but you're not going to know many details. And you, until you see the MRI, you see what the damage is around the shoulder. So I think at the very least, you're talking about three, four weeks without Julius Randle here. And that is a significant blow for the Knicks. Yeah. What kind of void would that absence leave if he were to miss significant time like that? Yeah, massive, massive because behind Jalen Brunson, he has been the guy on offense for this team. They're going to be much smaller in the immediate future. I don't know which way they go. Maybe it's Josh Hart goes to the starting lineup, but they will have to figure something out over the next couple of days here. But bigger picture, February 8th trade deadline. I think this probably changes their plans a bit because if he's going to be out extended time, you need somebody to eat those minutes. You need somebody to take that spot. And they really can't get anything of significance without Evan Fournier and Quentin Grimes and probably draft compensation in a deal. So it's tough calculus for the Knicks Absolutely. now moving forward. Yeah, he is someone who normally pays, plays through pain like that. So definitely cause for concern after seeing him immediately walk off the floor. Um, one person who did return from injury, Isaiah Hartenstein. He missed uh, two games after an Achilles injury, but what did you think of his return? Yeah, it's just good for the Knicks to have him back on the court because he was their linchpin in the wake of Mitchell Robinson's injury. I think he really held everything together. So the idea that he was banged up and missing time was a concern for the Knicks. He's back only played, I believe, 16 minutes, and he was limited there. But just the idea that he can get back out on the court is big because that resets the center rotation. That makes things a little bit more normal for a Knicks team that's probably not going to have Julius Randle for a while. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, next up for the Knicks, they head to Charlotte on Monday to play the Hornets. Ian, thanks.